everybody welcome back to the channel and definitely the last episode of backyard bandits so there's two things i want to do today uh we're going to do the first one first we're going to go through the pilots because i want to just see where we were at um number of missions wise number of kills things like that i haven't had a look at them yet but i want to have a look and just to see where we were and then the other thing i want to do is we've got a solo mission here uh solo duel uh where are you here uh oh we don't have it now no! Shit. I'm going to reload and then we'll have a solo duel. <laughs> but let's have a look at the pilots first and then I'll go back before the financial report. All right, McVay. Uh, or sorry, Barracks. Oh, man. What was I thinking? Ah, damn it. Okay, so... Uh, let's have a look. We're going to go through the lands first. Let's have a look at Hopper. Uh, so service record. So he had 78 deployments in this and 72 kills. That's actually not bad. It's almost a one-to-one -one ratio. 78 other kills. So it looks like he's killed basically two things per mission. Nine injuries. Didn't eject at all. And, uh, well, he's been here the longest because, of course, you know, he owns the company. All right, let's have a look at Arachne now. So she had 70 deployments. Cause, yeah, because she had a few injuries where she was out for a while. But not quite as many kills as I thought. About one and a half to one. I thought her kill ratio would have been up a lot higher, but it really wasn't. Okay. So, hot shot. Let's have a look at you. So, 66 deployments. And, yeah, still, it's about two to one. Just a little under two to one. So, not bad. Uh... I'm interested to see what Queen B is like, though, because I don't think she's got that kind of kill ratio here. Yeah, it's about a little over 1 to 1, 1.3 1. to 1, I think, something like that. But not bad, only three injured three times. She popped out once. But, uh, yeah, those are, the, those are the main four. So that's actually not that bad, I guess. It could have been a lot worse. Now, Scramble, we had some issues with her early on, but I'm interested to see... Ah, two to one kill ratio. That's actually not bad. Thirty-one deployments, two to one. I, I maybe I should have utilized her a bit more. Maybe I don't know. She's been there from the beginning. Ah, maybe I should have looked at that. I don't know. Although I feel like she did a lot less. I don't know. Okay, earthquake. Let's have a look at this guy. So yeah, I mean, not quite two to one. One and a half to one looks like. Well, one and three quarters to one. Or two, one and two thirds to one. You know, 1.66, somewhere around there. So not bad. Same amount of days of the company. Five injuries. All right. Let's have a look at Focus. Yes, command. Focus and Swifty, I'd be interested to see. Yeah, there's a two to one on Focus. Just about two to one. And then, where's Swifty? See what you're like. Yeah, he's about 2 to 1 as well. Yeah, they both did pretty well, those two guys. And then we had Sledge, Metalock. Yeah, some of, the later, sort of, some of the later pilots here. So Sledge. Yeah, I mean, 1 and a half, one, 1 and 2 thirds to 1. Not bad. And then uh, Metalark. See what you're like. Ah, about 2 to 1. Not bad. Over 2 to 1. So he did pretty well, and Jaws wasn't very in, in very many missions. So, yeah, a little one and a half to one, not bad. A little bit did did okay. Two injuries though. And then our last guy is Squire. Right here. I think he was our one of our last hires. I think. So 17 deployments. Yeah, 1.6 to one. So not too bad, I guess. Not too bad. So yeah, there's no real one big winner here, but I mean, you know, almost a two to one for uh, Hopper. I, I think it's because early on he was really shredding people with the, uh, I mean, he's not the best, but w based on the number of de deployments, he's probably the best. But he did a lot of shredding with that, with that archer early on, which really helped out. And that uh, clustering, the clustering for the ammo really, really helped him out early on. So yeah. All right, so that's the pilots. Now I'm going to go back 
and reload just before the financial report because there's a mission I want to take there. Um, let's hope it doesn't crash again. Financial report, here we go. All right, so once again, I had a hard time loading, so I had to basically quit out, come back in. So I went to the end of the last uh, mission, and I had to fix one of the um, uh, one of the launches in the longboat. So it took an extra day. So Hopper is going to be going into what we're going to do here, uh, fatigued, but I don't really care. So let's go to the command center. Now we can find the a taste for war solo duel. Here we go against the. Uh, it's, uh, we're we're uh, for um, the Oregon Coalition against the Toria Concordia. Let's negotiate this, and let's end. Uh, doesn't really matter what this ends up being, but we're going to end up with uh, Max Rep with the Oregon Coalition as well as the Pirates at the end of this series. So let's accept this. I have no idea what to expect on this, uh, but we're going to take the longbow. I'd take the archer, but this is five skulls, so there's no way that's going to survive. And I don't know how we're going to do. We're, we're, we're being fatigued here. Suffers from low spirits. Um, if used in combat, the last will also experience reduced resolve per turn. Uh, increased resolve per turn if an officer or commander is in the land. So this guy's technically the commander. So uh, hopefully we'll be okay. I don't know. Let's just see how we <laughs> see how we do. I have no idea what to expect here. All right, we're in an arena. Great, isn't this just lovely? Here we go, Commander. All right, let's not die too early in this battle. Okay, now, uh, because we can't, and I probably shouldn't move, I'm going to leave my uh, laser AMS on normal because we don't need to do anything else with it. And because we've got the opportunity to go first, Actually, let's go here, because that way he has to go through more mines. We're going to do this. I'm going to switch these to Thunder Augmented and confirm. I'm firing on the enemy. All right, let's see what they do. Okay, it's an Atlas. 33 damage, that's not bad. Boar's Head. Ow. Not so bad. I'm losing armor. So oh, stop. You got my attention. Let's get his attention, shall we? Definitely want to stay at range with this guy if we can. He's gone that way. We're gonna go this way. Roger that. We're gonna walk it. And we'll get our stability back. And let's straight up um Okay, and then we're going to go with one chaff, and the rest will be Artemis. What is the uh, Hydra's chance? 47. Well, wait till he gets a little closer. And uh, we're going to go ahead and Warlord this too. Get some front load damage on this guy if we can. So he's got... This is actually not that bad. We should be able to take this guy. Okay, Chop Cloud, beautiful. Okay. Talk to me. Stay at range. Roger. Uh, let's just go all Artemis. Soften him up a bit more. Okay, Shol looks like a leg. Leg and shoulder. He's quick, I'll give him that. He's hitting me for those 60s though. Yeah, we're we're working that that one side pretty good here. Um, Orders. Yeah, we've got to keep shooting at his front, so we get 
chance to hit that far side. Same thing. Once he gets out of the trees, it's going to be a different story for him. Okay, they missed. That Imperator is going to dram jam at some point, I think. Talk to me. Oh, he's giving us his side. Big mistake on his part. Big mistake on your part, buddy. Locked on target. Uh-huh. That tower, nice. Hit the tower. My armor's still solid. You've got my attention. There we go. Alright, let's switch one back over to Chaff again. There we go. Warlord this again. Get some good damage on him. That side's coming down. Nice. There goes his arm. Take that. For House Arano. Yeah, you gotta turn your side, buddy. Oh! Are you kidding me? I said the last episode is nice to end it with a headshot. I just didn't think it was gonna be mine. <laughs> See what happens when you get cocky? <laughs> well, I'm glad to, to end that on a more on a really hilarious note because that was funny. Out for 94 days. Well, there you go. <laughs> Uh well, I got well. At least it was only eighty-two thousand. I gotta say, that has to be the most hilarious way to end an end a series that I can ever think of. Oh man, and just me that last that last episode saying, "Oh, what a great way to end the series!" You know, getting that headshot in there. You know, finishing the last mech off with a headshot. What a great idea! And then it's like, yeah, you know. The Fates is like, oh yeah, you want to end the series with a headshot? How about, how about this one? <laughs> oh God, uh, that was so enjoyable, I have to say. Even though it was me, at least I didn't lose a pilot, because I was going to say we didn't lose any pilots in this series. So, you know, at least it was at least it was Hopper and uh, not anybody else, because he's not dead. So that's good. Um, but I'm going to end the series now. I hope you guys really enjoyed this series. I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, the battle for Astrakazi is going to be a lot of fun too. I can't wait to see how I can get that to work. Um, my biggest fear is bankruptcy, but I think we'll be okay. And the great thing about it too is that because we're going to be doing a battle for a, a system um, and having, um, you know, the individual games that are being played being part of one big whole, we can always add more later on. So even if one of one of the groups goes financially bankrupt or gets wiped out or whatever, we can always bring another one in. So that's the good thing about that. If you know, it's not just the one company; it's the group of companies or the group of the group of units working together as a whole to achieve a goal. So I'm hoping it. it, it I think it will work out really well. But uh, thank you for once again for sticking by me through the series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to su subscribe. And also stick around for the Battle of Astrakhan. Keep your eyes open for that. Hopefully next week sometime. Uh, maybe the weekend. We'll see when the first episode comes out. Um, but yeah, until next time, we'll see you all later.